Today we have a hands-on lesson where we will use the distributive property to multiply. We've used the distributive property in the past with one by two digit problems. So this is going to be a quick review of what we've done before first, before my examples. So we broke that 12 apart into 10 and 2. So 4 times 12 equals the same thing as 4 times, in parentheses, 10 plus 2. So that 10 plus 2 equals 12. Once we broke this apart, we took our 4 and multiplied it by the 10 and by the 2. Or we could rewrite that as 4 times 10 plus 4 times 2. Once again, this equals 4 times 12. We've just broken it apart. Then, 4 times 10 equals 40, plus 4 times 2, which equaled 8. We add those together, and we get 48. We also used area models to help us with the distributive property. So when we did this, we had our 4 times 12, that turns into 4 times 10 plus 2, so 4. We broke apart the 12 to 10 and 2. Then we multiplied that 4 times each of the parts, so 4 times 10, which was 40, and 4 times 2, which was 8. This gives us our third line over here. We add those together and we get the 48. So here's an example of what we did last chapter with one digit by two digit. Now I'm going to show you how we use that and apply it to two digit by two digit. So here's my first example, 14 times 73. So we're going to take our least number, our smallest number, keep that one, and break apart our greater number. So I'm going to keep the 14, I'm going to break apart the 73 to 70 plus 3. Then, I'm going to multiply that 14 times each of those two numbers. And I'm going to use an area model to help me. So I have my 14 that I left alone, so you're still going to leave one number alone, and then break apart your greater number. 70 and 3. Then we're going to multiply that 14 times each of those parts. So 14 times 70, and we'll add that to 14 times 3. So 14 times 70, remember when we write these we want the number that has a 0 and the 1's to be on the bottom. So 14 times 70, Start with our 1's, 0 times 14 is going to be 0, and then we multiply our 10's, 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times 1 is 7, plus our extra 2 is 9. Then we multiply our 14 times our 3. So 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3, plus our extra 1 makes 4. So we get 980 plus 42. Now we add those together. I don't have a lot of room to do this, so I'm going to add them sideways. So I add my 1's first. 2 plus 0 is 2. Add my 10's. 8 plus 4 is 12. So I'm going to carry one of those to my 100's put my 2 down over here. Now I have 9 plus that 1, hundreds, which gives me a 1,000. So I get 1,022. And that is my answer. So that was my first example, two digit by two digit. Here's my second, 13 times 48. So once again, I need to draw an area model and I'm going to use the distributive property to find each product. And for this assignment, you are going to need to write down all these steps on the right, as well as drawing the area model. 
So we're going to break apart our greater number of 48. So it's going to be 13 times 40 plus 8. We break that apart. So my 13 goes on the side. The 40 and the 8 go on top of my area model. And then we're going to multiply those. So 13 times the 40, and then 13 times the 8. So we'll start with 13 times 40. Put the number with a 0 on the bottom. Multiply our 1's first. 0 times 13 is 0. Then multiply our 10's. 4 times 3 is 12. And 4 times 1 plus 1 is 5. Okay, now that we got 520 for that part, we're going to multiply the 13 times the 8. So 13 times 8, we start with 8 times 3, which is 24. Then 8 times 1, which is 8, plus 2, equals 10. So we get 104. Then we add those together. We have four ones, two tens, and six hundreds. So we get 624. Now we're going to have you try two practice problems on your own. I'm going to write some of this for your first one. So there's just some blanks you have to fill in. It's a little tricky your first time. So go ahead and pause. If you need some extra help and you don't even know where to start, you may want to watch those examples over again. Okay, so first we're going to break apart the 36 into 30 and 6. Let's add that to our area model. So we have the 12 on the side and then 30 and 6 broken apart up top. Then in our next line, we're going to multiply that 12 times each of those numbers. So 12 times 30 will be first. And we get 360 for that. And next, we multiply the 12 times the 6. 12 times 6 equals 72. And add those together. You should have gotten 432. Okay, next problem. Practice problem number two is 15 times 43. This time I have it filled out for you, but no blanks are filled in, but I still have them there to help guide you a little bit. So go ahead and pause. The 15 stays the same. We break apart the 43 into 40 and 3. Put that on our area model. Then we multiply the 15 times 40, which is 600. Then we need to multiply the 15 times the 3, which is 45. 600 plus 45 is 645. All right. Now you're ready for two problems. These ones take a little bit of time, so we're just going to do two. Your first problem is 12 times 53. Your second problem is 21 times 46. You need to draw an area model for each of them and use the distributive property to find each product. If you need to go back to one of your practice problems or the examples to see the pattern as you're doing these, go ahead and go back as often as you need to help you out. Thank you for watching, and have a great night.